the Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. And now they just came up with a program where you can actually lock your loan before you find a property. Yeah, there's some great, uh, there's some, there's some uh, rules that go with it, but give us a call at 800-306-1990. Lock the loan before you actually find the property. That way you can protect yourself in case interest rates go up. Let's take a look at the market right now. The, the, the S&P 500 down 116 points. 10-year treasury down five points to 2.92. Mortgage-backed securities are up six points. And let's take a look at mortgage rates, OBMOI. Provides the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of prices ever conducted in the mortgage industry calculated from actual lock rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. Rates locked yesterday, 5.479. So they were back going on the upswing again. That's 5.479. That's the 30-year conforming rate. Jumbo's 5.104. 30-year FHA loans locked at 5.392, the best loan on the market. The VA loan, 30-year, 5.168. USDA, 5.324. And the 15-year, 4.625. But why is all of this happening? That's what we want to know about. Why are we getting the information the way this is? Well, first off, we get comments from the Fed chairman, Powell. Yesterday, he made some comments that the Fed will continue to hike until they kill inflation. It sounds like planning another 50 basis point hike in June, but they are already starting to backtrack. Powell initially said that the Fed thought they would be able to achieve a soft landing. That means not as going into recession. But then now we're giving themselves outs and said that there may be some potential paths to avoiding a recession. No, there's not. It doesn't appear the markets believe that the Fed will giving themselves are going to be able to kill inflation. Remember, this is not Paul Volcker in the Fed chair seat. That is much more wishy-washy. And many are questioning if the Fed will actually have the fortitude, the gumption to continue tightening to reduce inflation while they see the stock market dropping the way it is. Housing news. This is where the big news is coming in. And we're going to give you in-depth coverage of the news today. Because nobody else will tell you what we will tell you on Ron Siegel Radio. So what's going on in the news? What's going on with the housing market? And again, we get information from the, the one and only Diana Olick on CNBC, giving you consistently incorrect information. I, I should say, I'm gonna, we'll, we'll get into the housing news. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial.